Okay, um, we wanna to explain how I did this program in a very brief time. Here it is what we want to achieve. As you see, we got different uh, um, names here. This is uh, these are students, and these are just you see the, here we have the same name, but it's just to for an exemplification. They should be different, but um, we want to make just an example. So if we want to do this and uh, you don't want to do in a um, very short time without having to write everything and you, well you can copy and paste this and change every name and everything here everything that is different or you can do it with Python so let's do it with Python uh, okay um, how I did it, this uh, I made this little program but let's um, Let's start it from, from scratch and let call it with a different name and now let's copy it and let's delete everything. Okay, um, what I did was this. Uh, first of all, let's go inside here and go check where do we have our data. We had had them into an Excel file and um, where is it? Because I can find it here. Maybe it was somewhere else. Let me find it. We will come back. Okay, I didn't find the file but I have an image here of the file as you can see and uh, okay so that's it and uh, I just uh, copy and pasted them here uh, on my uh, new file else I don't find the original file don't find the original file let me just let me just take this and copy it so when I copy them from Excel I just um, select it uh, selected these numbers here and then copied and pasted in my file like here then I just went here and do this okay three double quotes so that it is multi-line string I call this one data and here is my data and if I print it and look at what I have here I have this but this is a string is not good for me so I go here and I split these lines and let me see what what I got now I got this bunch of things you see there is a list of strings with many this dash t is a tab sign so each data is into a tab so I just go and uh, create a new DT T2 uh, list and for um, for row in uh, in data okay for every row that I mean for row I mean this let me show you in this way to see better and let me let me comment this okay you see if I print in a separate um, each one for a line we get this now this is not a string but it's a list of string and each row is is a string separated from the next one so for example okay uh, and if I print it this way you see what the string is really now okay let me change this list into a list of lists so for every row for every or we call it also say for every string in data uh, what we do 
we append to the new list we append the string but if we leave the string just like this we will have the exact copy of this we don't want uh, to copy each string we want to this to be an each string of this to be a, a list with all this data inside and without the t so what we do is to split the string by the t that's all now let's see what we get with d2 this time okay as we can see uh, we got a list of of all the data in this way if we do this you can see okay one by one okay um, d2 is a list of these lists and uh, you see in the first list we got the name we got the second data third data and so on as for all that practically is what I want to achieve and this the first data is this the second is this the third the third and so on until until the last data that is total okay and we have copied and pasted from the initial file that was this one these are first second so we transformed the copied uh, data from Excel we we copied without um, using Python we just copied going here selecting uh, these cells copying them and pasting them into into this okay now that, now that we have the data we can do another thing we can do a template string that is something that we want to write so mm, the template string was in a document um, and uh, it was referred to um, it was just like this okay but with data of uh, mm, another year so with different names and different that data so to avoid going to um, change all this let's say that we take this from uh, the old document with the old data that we want to substitute with the new data let's go into here and let's create our template string simply pasting simply pasting everything now we don't want this name here but we want to substitute it with the first data here let's put this thing here in this way let's change the date here and I remember I'm trying to rebuild this okay I to give it the um, the appearance of a table I I did this I put the the data into a table so now that I copied this I don't have just to go and do this okay but I also have to put this into a into this tags if you know a little bit of HTML you know that a table is built by this tag this tag at the start this tag at the end with the slash and it each cell has a TD uh, at the start a for every cell in on every row and at the end of the cell to create a new row you just use this tr so we will do this into here okay mm. let me put in put this in a 
and maybe also this I want to put here instead of okay now so at the start we get to because we the result of this will go into an HTML file so we can use HTML so having sublime text I can do this TD here and and td here and tr okay at the end I close the table you could also put here the closing tag for td but it's not it can go we can do the same thing here like this it's not necessary okay uh, instead of this data we are gonna put this placeholder okay and this one I will leave it like this because it won't change okay not with that we have done this what we have to do we just could well we we must replace all the data for all this thing here so we have to do four okay each one of these is a student so for for student in D2 what we are going to do we are going to do an HTML here string in which all the code will go so we will have HTML plus equal and I think I did the same in this in this version here yeah and okay HTML is plus this template string sorry I must put a okay template but I could also call it just template template dot format because now I need to add all this stuff here and how I do it by putting this and and uh, um, the variable with all the data that is d2 that will be unpacked okay and and that's all now that we have the HTML into a string let's save it and watch it okay we get to import OS to watch the file so automatically by, without having to go into the folder and open it manually so we are going to with open we will save the file and we will call it uh, students data dot html we want to use uh, uh, we want to write into this file we want to do encoding in case of some problem with utf8 characters utf8 so it's all as file and then in the file i want a file dot write html and i think we are done we just want to start file so that we can see what we have achieved and let's start the students dash um, students and uh, data dot html let's see if there are there we are okay now 
it's all good. We just have to make some adjustment because because okay the template is this one and for students in D2 well we can also maybe Okay, now it's right, it's better to, we just want to put the format, this one instead of the two, because otherwise we don't put the single item, but the entire list in each one of these, and it's not, it's not right, right? Because you see here, we used pupil, here we did it correctly. Okay, and so this is... All the process to do this it's once you understand uh, this way uh, you can easily do that another thing that you could have done was to bring get the data from using a module to uh, that uses uh, Python to be an interface of the Excel file or you could load the C uh, comma separated value CSV files that are uh, XLS file are comma separated values and so on but this is the easiest way to get the data you get them here on the same file you don't have to load anything if you want to do something single this can be handy okay and that's all thank you for the attention and to the next video